Hello YouTube, this is Bubs Comics coming at you with an amazing comic haul, I must say. Uh, the last book that I'm going to show in this haul is the best pickup I've ever made in the wild. We'll start off with uh, Web of Spider-Man number one. Uh, picked these books up at a, uh, I would say an LCS, but they're almost a, an hour and a half away. <laughs> the good hour and 20 minutes away. Uh, but they had posted on Facebook that they were going to have what they were calling dealer days, which means they were going to have a dealer come in, kind of like, I don't know, I was hoping it would be something kind of like a mini con, uh, but they just had one dealer come in, which was fine, but he had a ton of books, like 20 long boxes and uh, several wall books, and they had posted a wall book that I was really interested in getting, but I didn't end up uh, getting it. It was already sold by the time I got there, but I was there first thing this morning to get it. Um, well, not this morning, but the morning of this haul. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, Web of Spider-Man number one. This is a book that's been, you know, creeping in value. It's funny because I remember passing on this book a couple of times for just a couple of bucks. And now it looks like it's, you know, pretty solid in the 10 to $20 range. Um, which is surprising to me for this book. With, I think, Into the Spider-Verse movie was when I think it started to change. So, when that that movie came out also when you had Venom come out uh, anything black suit related started taking a bit of a creep up and this book is getting pulled along I think with the rest and being a number one and having a uh, kind of a what's becoming a classic black suit cover I think that this book will continue to rise kind of steadily um, and even in the last few months I feel like it's gone up you know it's about doubled in value in the last few months so I'm, I'm sure the ceiling on this book is somewhere around 25 bucks, uh, but for right now it's somewhere between 15 and 20 for a, for a decent graded copy, you know, a decent, you know, presenting copy. So here you go, Web of Spider-Man number one. Uh, I was happy to get that. I picked it up for two bucks, actually less than that. I don't know how much I paid for these books because in the end, whatever the price was, we worked, I worked it for less. So I really don't know how much, but less than two dollars for that book. Here's another one I picked up for less than two bucks. Um, Spider-Man number one. I didn't have the golden black version of this book. Now, if you're looking for the one that's the money book, if you will, from these, other than the signed ones that were numbered and stamped, uh, you're looking for the golden black one with the UPC. That one fetches a higher price. There's a lower print run uh, for that. But I didn't have the golden black one, so there's a high, nice high grade copy of that. And all these, this guy's books were all high grade. So I picked uh, the ones I'm showing today are all ones that I picked up from the dealer. I did buy some other books from the shop while I was there, uh, but I'll show those off in another haul. Uh, next we have Howard the Duck 13. This is the first full appearance of Kiss, so you get in uh, the music group Kiss, so you get into you know full appearance versus cameo appearance. What's funny is that Howard the Duck number 12, actually you know where he's in a straight jacket and he's kind of in the dark that's the first cameo appearance of kiss well a lot of people will say that's the first appearance of kiss but it's really the first cameo you know last panel kind of stuff um this is the first full appearance of kiss and nice little newsstand version there uh not a bad copy of that book i'm happy with that um i don't tend to go real high grade on books like that you know but if you're gonna have there's only about three howard the duck books to have this is one of them so now i've got it uh, this is a book that I've been after. So if you've watched my hauls lately, you know I've been picking up Man Bat appearances, specifically uh, early Man Bat drawn by Neil Adams. So this is one where the interior is actually drawn by somebody else, but the cover, he was still doing the cover. So on this one you have, uh, it says Mad, Man Bat Madness. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Man Bat Madness. Uh, this is a much higher grade copy than I expected to get. Um, and it was really, I picked this up at below market value. I forget how much, how much I paid for this. It's somewhere around 15, 20 bucks for this book. Uh, this book can go around, for around 30 in, in good condition. And this is definitely good condition. So very happy with this pickup. And that completes my Man Bat Neil Adams cover run that I was trying to get, uh, which included uh, uh, 400 first appearance of Man Bat, 402. I think 406 or maybe 407 and 416 so that's where we're at uh, next continuing with Batman we got Batman 423 that's a classic uh, McFarlane cover on Batman there you don't see this um, oh, I mean you, you see this homage a lot 
So you see a lot of people, you know, taking this cover and making it their own. It needs a press for sure, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. Some spine ticks too, uh, quite a few actually. See on this one, the back cover is black. So if it's a miswrap cover, then it'll show all those spine ticks along the side because they're white on the black. So if you can get this book where it's not miswrapped so much and it's centered more to the back, then you can avoid that black bar on the back. Uh, next we have uh, Batman 612. So that's a nice Jim Lee cover there. Uh, Jim Lee, Batman, and um, Superman, of course. And Superman is just choking the crap out of Batman, which I think is great. Um, I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't take him much. It, look at look at how little effort Superman's putting into that choke, and look at all the effort that Batman's giving to try and get out of it. And he's not even he doesn't care. So I think this is great. Uh, Superman versus Batman. I just I just love it. That's a great great book. Um, you know, a little a little higher than cover on this. You know, this is probably. Oh gosh, I don't know. It's probably about a fifteen to twenty dollar book. So, and, and I paid probably about ten for it. So I was happy with that. Here's Superman two hundred four. Uh, this book I picked up because I already have. I sent mine in to get graded, and I got it back at a nine two. So I went ahead and got this book because I didn't have um, this one raw anymore. And actually, after looking at it, I don't know. I, it might be a 9.4. I might have could have got if I had sent this one instead of the other one. So I didn't have this one before, but now I do. So that's how the cookie crumbles. I'm happy with my 9.2, and I'm probably not going to bother to, to grade this one because it's just for me to keep anyway. Uh, we're, we're, we're ramping up. We're almost there to the big book. So uh, Supergirl number one, and this is uh, the Michael Turner sketch variant cover. Very happy with this book. I wanted this book. Um, it's not like the best Supergirl picture you've ever seen, <laughs> but I like to collect Michael Turner covers, and uh, the sketch ones are okay. I've got a few of them. I got a Superman Michael Turner sketch. They're all right, so I'm I'm good with this one. It's not my favorite, but you know I picked it up for two bucks, so it's happy. And it was actually I was digging through the Supergirl comics uh, for this book, and also this next one, and I found them both. So it was nice when you come across a run like that. So here's Supergirl uh, versus the Teen Titans. So Supergirl number two. Uh, so there's one and here's two. And it's also a Michael Turner cover. And, you know, cute. I have the uh, Superman uh, Michael Turner cover where he's flying. Kind of kind of has odd shoulders in that one. So, you know, I have this one in there with it. So I like Michael Turner stuff, but like a lot of artists, you know, some are better than others. So um, I think that his work in DC... Um, just wasn't as good as, like, say, his work on the Tomb Raider run and uh, other such, you know, his Witchblade work and stuff. I thought his DC work, it looks restrained to me. It looks like that's not the full crazy he's capable of. It's more, you know, I, I think that they were holding him back a little bit at DC. Uh, and here's the book. Of course, you might be able to guess where it's going. So I was digging through this looking for these exact two covers but I didn't stop I kept flipping through and look what I found oh look at that Supergirl and the Legion of Superheroes number 23 I picked this up for two dollars actually less than that probably look at that you can look up what that book's worth on your own um, it's absolutely perfect too Super flat, razor flat, sharp corners, every piece of it. There's not a ding, dent, scratch anywhere. So on advisement of some fellow collectors, and pretty much what I was thinking for myself anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this one graded, and for the first time I'm going to pay CGC to press it as well. I really do believe, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know, that I, I really do believe that CGC is only, they're holding, they're getting stingy on 9.8s for modern books. And I think that the reason that they're doing that, and it's funny because I just watched a video the other day that was saying, oh, they're giving away 9.8s all day. I'm not seeing that. I don't think that they're giving away 9.8s. I think that there may be a little bit of a pay to play, you know, or pay to win system going on, 
but it's not it's not direct pay to win so it's not like if you send in 20 books you're automatically going to get nine eights i think what it is is that they really on a modern book it needs to look almost perfect to get a nine eight and in order for a book to look almost perfect it probably needs a press even if you, you got it brand new off the rack and you stuck it in a board, bag and board in the shop and you babied it all the way home and you packed it perfect and sent it to CGC. In my estimation, most of the time, you, you know, four out of five times, you're probably going to get a 9.6 instead of a 9.8. And they don't even have to give you graders notes on a 9.6 or they don't give you graders notes on a 9.6. So you have no idea what the couple of flaws were because you can get a, you can have a, at least one flaw and it'd still be a 9.8. So you don't know what the few flaws were with the book. It looks perfect in the case. It looked perfect when you sent it, but you didn't get a 9.8. And to me, the difference is, is because if you look at this book just right, just perfect, look at it just right, at just the right angle, you see a slight amount of wave in the cover. Very slight. Like not even, it's not even any kind of damage or like it's been left out or anything. It's just paper and paper's not perfectly flat until you press it. So I think if I send this in to get cleaned and pressed, which it doesn't need a cleaning, and in my opinion, doesn't need much of a press either. Uh, but if you send this in for a cleaning and a pressing and a grade, I think I can get a 9.8 for this. So there you go, I'm, I'm calling it now, hopefully, with a clean press and 9.8. Uh, then I've got something really, really huge um, gap between what I paid and what it's worth. And I have other books, you know, it's not, it won't be my most valuable book in the collection as far as market value goes, but it'd probably be my second most valuable book um, just because of the condition it is and, um, and what it's fetching these days on eBay. I think it can definitely be, it'll be a contender for my second most valuable book or, uh, you know, as far as market goes. And I may keep it because I'm an Adam Hughes fan. It's an Adam Hughes variant. Uh, I may keep it or I may sell it. Um, I can't decide. I'll wait till it comes back. I can tell you if it comes back at anything less than a 9.6, I'm probably going to keep it. But if it comes back at that 9.8, man, like $1,200 could buy some nice bronze keys, maybe some silver keys, you know, some of the, some of the bigger books that I've been kind of just keeping an eye on out of the corner of my eye. It could really, it could really, uh, beef up my collection by three or four books that I would really want so I don't know we'll see how it goes but anyway that's my haul I uh, hope you all enjoyed that I want you to look at this just a couple more times absolutely beautiful uh, Adam Hughes Supergirl this is the Supergirl cover now people will say oh there's an art germ cover out now and all that yeah go ahead you can buy that art germ cover for 50 bucks this is the Supergirl cover you are a fan of Supergirl or a fan of Adam Hughes this is the book you want there's no other book to match this one so that's pretty cool so and maybe for those reasons I'll just go ahead and keep it in my collection but either way I'm scared to touch this book I was shaking I had an hour and 20 ride, minute ride home I was shaking all the way home because I had this book with me so <laughs> so there you go I uh, hope you all enjoyed that, and when you get done uh, watching this video and watching other videos like it, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, read a comic. Thanks. Bye.